Welcome to Webstyle Press. Font weight can be normal, bold, extra bold, and more. If you use custom font in website or in any app, you have to download font files for font variations and create font face for each variation in CSS. Using multiple font variations require multiple font files. This is becoming a thing of past. You can use one font file and use font variations using only one font file. It will speed up your website, keep CSS small, less server requests, and there are many other benefits. In this video, we will look into that. Before that, give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel because I am bringing you similar content on this topic. Likes, comments, help me understand if you like the topic or not. Okay, back to the topic. We have this HTML page and we want to display text in different variations using custom font. Here is some HTML, three paragraphs. This is the output, regular, bold, extra bold. Paragraphs with classes, font regular, font bold, font extra bold. We will use custom font, open sans, downloaded from Google fonts. I have downloaded open sans from Google fonts and here are font faces. I'm using three different font files to display normal, bold, and extra bold variation in my web page. Font family, open sans regular. Source. This is the font URL, open sans regular. Format is WOWF2. Second font face, font family, open sans bold. This is font file, open sans bold. Font family, open sans extra bold. Source. This is font file dot w o w f two. So here are font regular, font bold, font extra bold, and here we applied font families to the text. So this one is regular, this one is bold, this one is extra bold. Different font families based on three font faces declared in CSS. Font is open sans, but to use its normal, bold, and extra bold variations, we are using three font files. It can be improved. So how can we use one font file to get three font variations here? By the way, these font files are here. Index.html in the same directory, open sans bold, open sans extra bold, open sans regular. Let's create another font face. Let's comment this code and here is another font face. Font family open sans URL is this one. This is one font file and it's in .ttf file format. True type. Now for the paragraph, let's use this font family. We have three paragraphs and here is the paragraph. Now, font family is this open sans. Now, how can we use that same font file to achieve different font variations here? Regular, bold, and extra bold. I will comment this one and add font variation settings WGST 400, WDTH 100, and we'll comment this font family and apply this font variation settings. And for extra bold font variation settings, WGHT 800. And if it confuses you, we can delete it from here and place it here. Font family open sans, this one. So one font face, containing one font file to create these three variations regular bold and extra bold by using this strange syntax so why 400 700 and 800 because we downloaded this open sans font file from google fonts and for open sans font google fonts has this specific implementation 400 font weight for normal 700 for bold and 800 for extra bold now this is a variable font file 
support for variable font is inside font file font file is made in this way that it supports variations you cannot take just any font and use it as a variable font let me show you so go to fonts.google.com and check this option show only variable fonts and see if we have got many fonts and open sans is one of them so open sans is a variable font open it now we can download it from here download family but before that if we select font variations from list below like for regular 400 bold 700 extra bold 800 so these are three variations if we select these variations it gives us css link and css rule to use in our css file by using this method you will use static font it's not variable font you will have to download this font to use its variable version download from here i have already downloaded it open sans zip and here is the folder open sans it's got a static folder if you want to create font faces separately use static folder it has got all the files multiple font files one file for each variation bold is different for extra bold is different for italic is different light is different medium regular semi bold semi bold italic so we have got multiple font files for multiple font variations but these are a lot of files and if you see in this css we used w o w f 2 version not ttf and these w o w f 2 version is right here besides index.html page i have converted ttf file to wowf2 format and then used it because wowf2 is lightweight and it's sufficient to convert ttf into wowf2 i have used a tool called transfonder just add font file ttf file check these boxes convert and download okay now font files if you take a closer look this downloaded folder has got additional files. This was the folder named as static, containing static fonts. And here we've got two more files, TTF format, and its name is Open Sans variable font. It's got two extra attributes in its name, WDTH and WGHT. I used this version, not italic version. Here we have used it. This is the folder path and then the font path so it's got two extra attributes in its name it means it will provide font weight variation and font width variation or font stretch variation now notice another thing i had used wwf2 file format for font for these three variations here but not here here it is dot ttf our variable font file is in ttf format I have used TTF for variable font because Transfonter could not preserve its variable properties when I converted it into WOWF2. Now about font variation settings CSS property. This property is special. Let me show you one more thing. We've got this weight WGHT 400 and we've got WDTH. It's 100. So observe this. 50. And you see it kind of squeezed 100. So font variation settings. It can take multiple names and values or attributes. This is weird CSS syntax. MDN has got details on implementation of font variation settings. Font variation settings CSS property provides low level control over variable font characteristics by specifying the four letter x's names of the characteristics you want to vary along with their values wgst this is weight so we've got for font weight wgst for font stretch wdth for font style oblique or angle we've got slant or slnt for italic we've got ital for its optical sizing we've got opsz and we can try these here 
this is weight WGHT and for slant SLNT so these properties are coming from one font file also MDN has got variable font guide variable fonts guide weight width italic slant and optical size and also we have got GRED grade grid and also if we go to google fonts icons google icons from google fonts and select any icon you will see this thing here as well font variation settings for variable icon font they have already implemented font variation settings in css for variable icon fonts and also if you look into support for variable fonts it is widely supported now so we can use variable fonts where one font file can provide variations by using font variation settings property in css all you need is a variable font file create a font face using it and then use it use that font family and use font variation settings css property and then attributes here one font file and all the variations are inside that font file single font file it will save you from this huge code so use variable fonts when you are using custom fonts you have to just get the font file that supports font variations it will save bandwidth time server requests and it will speed up your website so tell your designer to use variable fonts from Google fonts or probably your designer is already using a variable font. You just have to check it from Google fonts. If your designer uses Google fonts, check if that font is here, then you will be able to use single font file for all its variations and it will simplify how you use font face and font variations in your website. Okay, I hope it helped give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already let me know your thoughts and comments and i will see you in the next video